Blake and uh, Sarah, congratulations on the film. I really enjoyed uh, the film and your performances. So let's jump in. I'm curious about what um, attracted you to the, the film. To me, it seems to me that there are a lot of these sort of coming of age stories for you know boys, but that this is something that really offered a new perspective on the sort of female coming of age. Definitely, I think, um, you know, I think that James Ponsel, the the director and co-writer, he, he, who I'm friends with through the Sundance family, I, you know, he's coming at it from a parental standpoint, right? He's like, he's a, an independent filmmaker and he has children now and thought the same thing you thought, which is, gosh, there's a lot of, you know, there's the stand by me. There's a multitude of, of films that we could talk about that have this young man's journey on adventure, you know, but uh, little girls just don't have that. And so it's, it's refreshing and, um, and kind of needed in a way to think about, gosh, all the anxiety we've gone through in this past two and a half years. And then you, you know, it's like children are all feeling that. So it becomes universal in the thematics, but ostensibly you get to exist and, and follow through with, with female protagonists. I, um, I got a letter from James actually, and I didn't know him before. Um, I, I knew of his work uh, from the circle and uh, I just left it the chance to be on the set because I had so much respect for him and getting to work with Lake Bell and Megan Mullally. And then all of these uh, young actresses was so great because I, um, I, you don't get to see little girls having an adventure that's just very pure and simple and innocent and it, it has a mysterious element to it as well but um I just thought it was a really cool uh addition to the landscape because we don't get to see a story like this very often yeah and I also love for you guys in your role about seeing the parents perspective and how they're struggling also and they're you know trying to adjust to this new space Talk a little bit about each of your character, for both of you, each of your characters and kind of what their journey is in throughout the film. I, I think it, it's a testament to the writing that even the mothers have a clear arc, you know, character wise. So, you know, um, even there, even though it's a handful of scenes, it still felt like, for instance, for, for me playing, a, you know, a single mom, not electively, um, a, you know, a cop to boot and, you know, doing her best. Um, I feel like it's a complex situation that kind of just echoes this idea that you don't know what's going on at home for people. And you don't know what people have been through or what they're currently going through. And that is a great lesson for young minds and a good reminder for others that you know, we're just doing the best we can. <laughs> and so um, for me, I, I, I just definitely related to that. And um, whilst she does come off unsavory in the beginning, I think uh, it becomes understood. And I think that people just wanna be understood and um, have patience for their story, you know? Yeah, I think that for, you know, for Karna and, I think for all the moms, probably all moms, is like you have this idea of what life will, will be like. You get married, you have a few kids, you have a mortgage, like everything is just, you know, you, you think you're going to have that ideal, like, and it's never that. It's never, ever that. And I feel like my character kind of never, kind of rejected all of that from the beginning yeah. um, and said, you know what, I'm going to make my own life. I'm going to be a mom. Um, I'm going to teach her how I view the world and, and which is like painting auras and, you know, burning incense and, you know, wearing crystals, um, which I, I, I wore a lot of interesting jewelry. And I remember, <laughs> I remember once like between takes, I was washing my hands. So I took it off and then I went back out to film and I forgot to put it back on. And I was like, oh my God, continuity. <laughs> Um, has that ever happened to you? Um, but I, I think it was totally fine. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, for me, Karna is, is, is I feel like who I would have been had I not fallen prey to society's expectations. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because I, I got married and I did the whole thing and then I and then and I just recently got divorced. And so and that, now I'm starting to realize, oh, you do have to make your own life and decide what's, what works for you. You can't just do what everybody else is doing because you know what? It's not going to work out 
for, for them the way that they think and for you the way that you think. And so mm -hmm. I, I just loved I just love the way that it was written because you got to see that perspective. Yeah. Um, I thought there were a lot of sort of beautiful, quiet scenes in the film. Um, I was curious for both of you, was there a particular scene that's, it could be a scene that you're in or a scene that you weren't in that spoke to you the most? I mean, I, I, I yeah, I, it's still Leah and I sitting on the couch and just kind of like having our come to Jesus moment um, and in connection was really profound for me. And I felt it was for her as well. Um, but it was just, you know, I am a mom of a daughter and, you know, having her kind of look at me and emotionally ask me if it's her fault, you know, is, you know, just in general, I, you know, I am recently, I mean, divorced two, two years ago and I cannot, you know, there are certain things as you get older and you live more, you know, as an actor, you take things on and, and the pain of, of those moments become very real and visceral. So yeah, I, I won't forget that. Yeah. And, you know, I just, we, one of the first scenes we shot was um, all of the moms coming in to help Laura clean up. Yeah. And um, it was very interesting. I'm just remembering now that I, and I don't think I clocked this when I was filming this scene, but I think I was judging you. I think I was like, this is terrible. Like, why doesn't she clean? But that is what we do to each other as moms. We are yeah. like, oh no, you even, I don't even, I don't have kids, but even with dogs, like if I'll see a dog that's like on its <laughs> harness wrong, I'm like you, that harness is not on properly. There's so much judgment. There's so yeah. much judgment. And so the film is really about like, hey, like there's a lot of extenuating circumstances. Like let's let's get past that. You know, everybody's trying to, and to do the best they can. You know, 